Hi students, um, this is a quick video of week one, just an overview of what to do, um, what's assigned. So let's go ahead and look at Canvas. Okay, so for week one, um, you have one very short reading. Um, it's Carol Dweck's Brainology. Um, you can just simply click on the link here and you will find uh, the reading. Um, I would ask you to you know, read it a few times, uh, make notes on the paper, kind of annotate it. Um, it's going to really come in handy for your discussion for week two. So I'm just giving it to you now so you have some time to get ahead of what's due. Um, week one discussion post, it's just an introduction of yourself. So your name and some general background, something interesting about you that reflects your identity. Um, and then one thing you'd like to accomplish in this course, besides the grade, right? Because that's, everyone wants to pass. <laughs> and that's worth 10 points. Um, if you change your profile picture avatar, you get five extra credit points. So I would definitely do that. Um, and then just FYI, uh, with discussions, there's always like two dates that I put at the top and students are always confused. So if you have questions about this, like don't feel bad, that's normal. Um, the first date is always the date that I want you to complete your post. And then the second date is when you're supposed to be responding to your peers posts. So by the 17th, you should post all of this stuff. And then by the 21st, you should reply to two to three peers posts of their own introductions. Okay. So it'll always work like that with discussions and I'll, I'll try to update you guys as the weeks go by just so, um, it's not confusing. Um, I also posted some information about metacognitive reading logs. Um, they aren't due until week four, like the first batch. So don't feel pressure. I just wanted to give you guys some information on what they are. So as you're reading Carol Dweck's Brainology and you're taking notes on it, right? Um, I'm going to ask you to respond to two quotes. So every time I assigned you a chapter or reading, um, you'll have to do two quotes per reading. So for Carol Dweck, I am expecting you to do two quotes. And then I gave you an example of it down below of, of what they kind of look like. Essentially, you have a section for topics, a section for the quotes, and then the third section, which is where you respond to the quote. So for Carol Dweck, you only have two of these. So you'll pick two quotes, tell me what the topic of the quote is, and also make sure that you put your quotes in MLA format, right? So it'd be Carol Dweck argues, comma, the quote, and then the page number. So that's kind of how we do it in MLA format. And then you would do your synthesis slash response. I prefer these to be about four sentences long. So, um, and you can also have questions. You can relate to it personally, um, just whatever you want, as long as it's about four sentences long. So I can see that you've actually interacted with the quote um, itself. And what's cool about this is you can use these um, in your MR, uh, in your discussion posts when you do things on certain chapters. And then also it makes it really easy. Like you can just copy and paste this into an essay. So like your quote, and then your synthesis or response would be like your analysis. So it kind of is like preemptively getting you ready for the essays themselves. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for week one. Um, I will do another video for week two. And I look forward to reading your guys' introductions. Okay.